Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, have a forward lift, model BP-9, and I thought I would just make a short video and simply show you the process of lifting my old CJ-7 with this lift. As you can see, it's a two-post symmetric lift with hydraulic lines going underneath a steel cover between the posts. Here's a shot of the carriage with the hydraulic ram and the chain. One important thing to always remember is to uh, ensure you have a lot of grease in all four corners on the inside of your posts so the lift is properly lubricated. It won't stress anything out and tear anything up. And here's the other side as you can see I have a slight hydraulic fluid leak. That's under warranty. They're going to come out and repair that later. It's not a big deal though. A lot of these leak, these uh, these lifts seep a little bit. This is a 9,000 pound lift. And I have the truck adapters. These uh, tall cylindrical uh, shaped pieces of steel below the pad and the little bracket on the back side of the post where you can put your adapters. See there's a small ones for regular sized cars and if you have a truck that's a little taller you put the long ones on it. Not rocket science. It also comes with a book to tell you what the lift pad points are underneath each vehicle that you lift. For a Jeep CJ7 the lift points are directly underneath the pivot point for the leaf spring on all four corners. And here's the front pivot point that you can see and again underneath the leaf spring pivot point. So here we go. Start button, no big deal. safety interlocks clicking in every couple of inches. As you can see I have vaulted ceilings in the shop with uh, scissor trusses so I can lift the car in the air. That's high enough, plenty high enough. Okay, so now we have to uh, we have to let the lift down onto the uh, the safety interlock. So all we do is we hit the release briefly until we see the Jeep go to the next tooth down, and it'll stop. Watch. There we go. Clunk. Now it's safe to get up underneath the Jeep. Now I have a hard hat here in the shop, seeing as how some of the things are quite low and you don't want to lift the Jeep all the way in the air, otherwise I'm only 5'8 and I wouldn't be able to reach it. So uh, here we are, here's my exhaust system, that's kind of what I'm going to be working on today. And uh, the underside of the engine and the front differential and so forth, so easy to get to stuff. Well, there you go. Model BP9 from Forward Lift. Check them out. Oh, and uh, by the way, before we go, this lift is certified according to the Automotive Lift Institute, according to the sticker right here on the side of the post. You guys have a good day.